on an extremely windy downtown day. If you uh, remember this location, 511 and 515 Olet Avenue, um, Neil Jones took me in this space a very short time ago. I posted the site in the moving in segment, and now there's a new tenant. There's already a new tenant. Again, retail starting to explode down here. 515 Olet. And we're gonna we're gonna meet the gentleman who's oh no I didn't know this was gonna be going on this is Mark Broad behind the wood bar store look, look. <laughs> the concept of this space is kind of a uh, you know you have something I find when people go why didn't I think of it now you said you've been sitting on this idea for five years what's what's the idea what the heck are people gonna be able to get in here uh, they'll be able to get stuff for your, uh, your bar owner, if you have a home bar, a uh, bar enthusiast, your bartender. Even re certain restaurants if they need stuff? Restaurants, anything, absolutely. Any, anything you would need as far as glassware, straws, napkins. Uh, then all you got your fun items, you got your beer pong tables, you got your, uh, you got your, uh, you got your openers, you some new openers for your home, you know. Your and again, house. one of the, the things that you showed me I'd never even heard of, this, this part of the opener can take the pores. You take your pores off. So if you got like a pore, this one unfortunately is broken in this circumstance. But the whole idea is that so it takes your pore off. Uh, if you use a, a melon or a blue crock or something very sugary, yeah. it gets kind of stuck. All the sugar kind of gets stuck between the pores. So uh, Saturday, night, Saturday night, you don't want to waste any time behind the bar, so it makes it really, really quick. So now, the last time I was in here, I'm going to have to check, was, was there pink? It was. It was an orangish pink color in here. So, so you, uh, I looked in here, and I'm like, who is in here? And, and I've been writing little bits and pieces about, I can't wait to meet the new, uh, the new owner of this space. So it's, it is a retail space. And again, a lot of retail, by the way, moving downtown behind the wood because you're selling, again, like pretty well anything that you're going to need as a bar owner or restaurant owner in regard to drinks. So glassware in particular, you have an interesting setup. You're going to have a double wide of what we see here. And, and people are going to be able to pour certain juices and things into glassware to see what they like, what it looks like, and shot glasses, shot glasses. Ice, ice, lemons and lemon limes. Berry, you name it. But see, the apples. lemons and limes is mind-blowing to me because I know how brutal it is to come in late, or like you said, some places actually pay somebody to chop this stuff. Yeah, you, you have to bring a bartender an hour before, your, an hour before the guy has to normally would come in just to cut lemons and limes. And so they could call you, uh, or even have their weekly order, and you'll have it pre-cut pre for them. Pre-cut, ready for them, exactly how they like them. Some bars, for instance, a bar that would only sell Corona, wouldn't need to put a slip in their line. Right. Some bars, uh -huh. for just, uh, just cocktails, would need the slit to put on the glass. Uh, so there's a lot of different... Different restaurants, different bars would need certain specifics yes. that we would just have pre, pre set up ready for them and done. What we saw you doing there, the flair bartending, this is something you've obviously gone to, for some training for, and uh, yeah. you have an area that's over here that's going to be almost uh, specifically for specifically training for and, teaching. and teaching. Teaching flair, yeah. There's so, a, a gentleman in the city by the name of Chris Michael that teaches already. Yeah. He will be doing a little bit of teaching here. He's, uh, he's been teaching the city for a long time. He's, uh, he's trained. Shirt on right now. Oh yeah. no. He, uh, he, he will be doing some of the training. He's been doing it for a long time. Really, really, really good at what he does. So, uh, and you've got really high ceilings in here yeah, so that, that you're. That was essential. So, uh, so when you're flipping, sometimes you've got to pull a double, move off, and you need a little extra. Like some of the guys that juggle six bottles need a lot of height. This is amazing. So, so, so any any time of the day, someone could come in. There will be glass panels, right here, yep. almost like glass hockey, glass almost like glass. hockey glass. On, if they want to show off. If they want to show off, they can keep them open. Um, there's a portable bar in here. Oh. The metal bar, it's, uh, it comes in, a, I, I sell them actually, but it comes in a, basically a big suitcase. Okay. The metal case, it comes in a suitcase, it just sets right up. Yep. And that's a competition bar. Right on. So they'll be able to come in here, they have a competition in a week. Uh, they come in here, they have full practice, nobody involved in them. They're not worried about smashing anything. <laughs> So, you, you've been in the bar business a long time, 16 years, 17 years. and you've been thinking about this for five. Yeah, for five. 
and now you're finally ready to do this. You've, you've made the connections you need to make. And you think, like, you know a lot of the bar owners right now downtown, I'm assuming. So you, you think you're going to, like, are they excited? Do they know they, you're? They're, they're very excited. There's a good chance there's a bar owner probably going to come in a little bit. So uh, you, you have, but you have some sense people know you're here. Oh, absolutely. Have you it's, been? It's actually been surprising to me because that bar's been a lot like that. Yeah. Uh, there's some people that I don't know that have come in that know my name. Yes. They're like, Mark, I'm so excited you're opening a store downtown. This is really exciting stuff. And I'm like, hi, you are. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. And, you know, they're, they're inside of bar owners that I only sort of know have come in. Or, you, know, uh, you know, so it's interesting. I think the bar owners for a while feel like they've been overcharged and have to go elsewhere outside of downtown. Way outside of downtown. Way outside. Like, it's not even close. No, it's, it's a 10-minute Tri- a, a, a 15 well and if you're if you buying have, something 20 minute round trip for fun you have a lot of it you have to bring one of your employees with you which costs extra we're here we're going to be right here if you you're so busy you can't get to it we're going to bring it down for you you know we're really i've been in a long time i've managed i know what it what the hassles are of this so i'm trying to make this nice and easy for owners nuts and bolts what time are you going to be open during the day and night we are going to be open so before restaurants we're looking at probably about 10 o'clock in the morning open Whoa, and then closing and then at? Closing at about midnight. Come on. Je- Sorry, that was, that was loud, but that was like, that's great. Because people need the, you know, the, the bars that are going to run out and need this stuff. It's going to be late. Let's quickly go up here. Uh, only because the office space. A small DJ booth up here. A DJ booth? Yeah, we're going to put a DJ booth up here because uh, we still might run some small charity events. Okay. Kind of thing here and there. And uh, if we, we're going to have a small little DJ booth right about here. Mm-hmm. That way he'll be able to you know, kind of check out the whole spot while he DJs. Uh, and, uh, and, and the slash, lights weren't on last time, I don't think, so at least you get to see it lit up as well from up here. You can office up here as well, so I'll be, able to, I'll be able to run the whole thing by myself sometimes or with a couple of employees, but I'll be able to see everything while I'm working. So. When do you open? Looking at May 20th. Come on, that soon? So all you, all the work that has to be done is this has to be finished. This has to be the bar finished. needs to be finished. The bar needs to be finished and shelving. And bring the stock in. And shelving. Uh, yes, the stock is all one delivery. May twenty what? May twenty second. Oh man. There's a, a flare competition that uh, a bunch of my friends are in from uh, Vegas and a bunch of guys I I work with outside of Windsor. Yeah. And they're some of the best flare bartenders in the world. They'll be going to a competition in Windsor. So. Well, uh, Mark Broad. Behind the wood, are you going to get a sign out front or, or something in the window? There, there'll probably be something in the window. Sir. Well, pop in here, especially after May 22nd. Just stick your head in here if you're interested in what they're doing. Again, uh, somebody uh, brave enough and with a good I- idea uh, coming downtown. Uh, thanks, for t- thanks for taking the time. I can't wait to come in and just see more of that flare stuff that I will never be able to do. Unless I take the <laughs> training. <laughs> Again, it's 515 Olet Avenue, and uh, for all you bar owners out there, you better get used to seeing that face, because I think he's going to supply you with stuff. I'm taking care of you guys.